Good morning, and may God's blessings be upon you this day. And as we come to God's word, may a spirit of grace fill you with the strength to, to stand fast in the Lord, to do the Lord's will, and to discover uh, the truth that God is revealing in your life. Let us together pray. Lord, humble our hearts, quiet our minds, that we will be open and listening to you. Lord, give us a discerning spirit, we pray. For not all that we hear and not all that we come to understand is right. Lord, we need to, to be guided by your spirit in what is truth, for we are a fallen and broken creature. We need to be guided and uplifted in wisdom. And in your Holy Spirit, Lord, take in each step along the way unto a fullness of, of who we are meant to be, to really grasp the vocation you have for us. Lord, we pray this day for many people in many wonderful lines of work, but Lord, who are feeling separated from the sense of purpose. Lord, you awaken us and call us in each day in a renewed calling to do your will. But Lord, sometimes the tasks of that will change day to day, season by season. And so, Lord, for those that are in that place where they are reassessing where they are, that are being reengaged, may they both either grow in confidence in where they are and how they serve or have the strength to make the changes and the transformation that you have for them that will grow them in spirit and in purpose to serve your will and to glorify you. Lord, we pray especially for those who are young, younger people who are setting a direction in life and are really feeling uh, the, the difficulties of this time and this place where so much about life is staggered right now and it's hard to make plans and to take that next step forward when everything can, can seem to change. We look to this day and the coming days in hope that your grace will be upon our days, that this land, our lives, the whole world will feel healing and strength. Lord, we pray for those who are working to bring about that healing, those who in the vocations you have given them, in the callings you have, have grown them into doctors and nurses and caregivers. Lord, and all the hospital staff, those who are administrating, those who are mopping the floors, everybody is essential in all of this. And we're really starting to recognize, Lord, how important uh, we are to each other, how much we are connected, how much we serve together in just living life. But also, hopefully, Lord, and we pray for your spirit's awakening in this to see how interconnected your church really is in the environment it's in, with the people it works with, in the community it's called to serve, to be able to, to reach out with meaning and engage people in, the lives around, in their lives around us, that we together will be the church, that we will be more and more brothers and sisters, not, not just uh, neighbors and friends, acquaintances, but those who who sense their purpose and their being through you, through Christ's example. Lord, let us in our encounter with your word today, as we, as we look to your good news, that we will be guided in a better understanding of your truth, your word for us, and, and in guidance, how to follow Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we turn to the gospel today of Luke, Luke reading in chapter 2 at verse 40. And it reads, The child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. This happens a number of times through uh, scripture when we encounter uh, one who is going to be a leader for God in in different parts, in Daniel and Samuel, these young people who are coming to faith. Um, we, we hear it in the story even of John at the beginning of the Gospels. But in this particular circumstance, in this verse, it's in reference to Christ. That he, the child grew and waxed strong in spirit. This is what we would expect of the Messiah. This is an absolute necessity. But what Luke is affirming is, yes, and it actually happened. And that celebration, that yes, this is, it's a building celebration through the Gospel of Luke. Yes, he is the Messiah. Yes, this is the Christ. Yes, this is your Savior. Yes, this is the only begotten of God. And the grace of God was upon him. 
If you are looking for a way to be an example of Christ in people's lives, and you find that following after Christ, the grown-up, the minister, is a lot to ask, begin in childhood. Grow in wisdom. Grow in, in, in seeking the, 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 the Spirit's guidance in your life and be strengthened in spirit. Be forgiving as Christ is forgiving. Luke presents a little bit more of Jesus, the child, Jesus, the youth, than any other gospel writer. And I think that is so wonderful if we are to be Christ-like followers of Christ. To learn and grow, understanding that Christ grew up. We can grow up too. But grace is, grace is essential in this. Look, we trip and fall. My youngest is learning to walk right now. And he trips and he falls. And then we smile. And we love him. And he's excited to get back up. We don't scold him when he falls and stumbles. We giggle. We lift him up. And we set him on his way. So the Lord does for you. That you may grow strong. That, that you may go strong in spirit, that you will be filled with wisdom and be ready to serve as Christ calls you to serve. It's not easy growing up either, is it? And the youth out there who, who are hearing this, I hope you understand, we need that reminder of our own youth, that we didn't have it all figured out all the way along. Forgive us our arrogance as adults. And remind us what it is to grow up and help us to see what it is to grow up right now. And it's hard. And it's not easy. And discerning what is right and what is wrong is far different for you than it has been for us. So help us in this journey too. That is that great and wonderful aspect of being the church is together we grow. Together we seek to, to, to be like Christ. It isn't an individual mission. It is one we share, collective, we hold each other accountable, and we are to be a mutual encouragement to one another. To be that embodiment of the Holy Spirit when we feel disconnected and disassociated. To come back together and in God's grace, which is so much greater than our own, but it inspires that grace in us to come together in God's grace, to find our own grace, to, to together in grace offer grace and love to the world. God bless you. As you step out into the world you are called to serve,